Welcome Skyslopers! In this video, we will walk you through the process of creating an under contract transaction file in Skyslope. In Skyslope, you will create a transaction file anytime you are representing a buyer or a tenant. So here on the Skyslope dashboard, you will scroll down to the listings and transactions section, then click create new and select transaction. First things first, you will select who you're representing for this deal. For the sake of this video, we're going to select purchase. Next, you will select the stage of this transaction. You will either be pre-contract, meaning you don't have a signed offer or purchase contract yet, or under contract, meaning you do have a signed purchase contract. I'm going to go ahead and select under contract. After selecting the stage, you will add the property information. If you have a coordinating Skyslip forms file, you can select that forms file to import property data and ensure your completed forms envelopes transfer into your transaction automatically. If you don't have a coordinating forms file, you can use the address lookup tool to import property data from Google or the MLS. Here I will select the appropriate MLS listing to import property data from the MLS. After the property data has been imported, you will be prompted to fill in any transaction fields that are still blank. First, you will select an office to assign your property file to, if applicable, then select a checklist type. The checklist is a list of documents created by your brokerage that often differs for various property types. So select the checklist type that matches this deal. Once you've added all the essential details, click continue. On the final transaction details page, you will submit any other applicable transaction information, such as the purchase price, acceptance date, and closing date. After clicking continue, you will be taken to the contacts page. You will start by adding the clients that you are representing and then by adding the clients on the other side of the deal. On the next contacts page, you will add or confirm agent details for this transaction. If you are working with a co-agent, click add another buyer's agent to set up shared access for this file. After confirming agent details, you'll arrive at the escrow title and attorney page. You can select one of the three contact types to provide details for. Then enter their contact information or select a saved contact. To save time, you can also open title or escrow right from this screen. After selecting yes to open title or escrow, you'll be taken to the next page where you can customize an email message that will be sent right from Skyslope to your chosen contact. If necessary, you can even add an attachment. Next, if applicable, add the information for your loan officer. You will see a few final questions about transaction coordinators and referral agents before you finally arrive at the commission page. On the commission page, the purchase price is carried over from the transaction details page, so you will start just by entering the applicable commission amounts. As you enter these details, you can watch the commission amounts on the right side auto-calculate. And be sure to enter the commission split if you're working with a co-agent. After confirming all the commission details are correct, click continue to move on to the deposits page. If your brokerage is holding the earnest money deposit, you can enter those details here. Now that you've submitted the essential transaction details, click create transaction to create your file. After your file is created, you will land on the checklist tab. This is the list of documents that are required to be submitted based on the file type you selected. You can click the attach button to submit your executed documents for compliance review. And there you have it. That's everything you need to know about creating an under contract transaction file in Skyslope. If you have any questions, please reach out to our 24 seven support team. Happy Skysloping.